All right, today's project, we're up at the cabin and we need to fix this, this wood stove surround. So right now it has one of these prefab uh, surrounds in here. It's like a, I don't know what this is. It's like a vinyl or it's like a vinyl on metal or something. So we're gonna use what we used at the old house. If you remember the, uh, the, the hearth or whatever you wanna call it, the surround, wood stove surround that we built. And we use these, they're called rumble stones. This is from Home Depot. These are actually, they're, they're clearance right now. So if you're doing this in, in uh, 2024, they were all clearance. I don't know why, maybe end of the season. These are basically, they take these these cement brick blocks and they they tumble them around probably with smaller pebbles and sand and they, they kind of beat them up, rough them up. And uh, that's just how they, the, the texture they kind of have. Uh, this is a cafe, this is the color that they are. And you got these trapezoid uh, ones that you use for the corners. And then you have all these different shapes and sizes. There's uh, the thicker blocks, there's uh, smaller ones like this, there's the, the real small ones and the flat ones. I have a few other sizes in there. So the idea is we're gonna come out next to this trim, we're gonna come out, we're gonna make a, a, a curve around here and we're gonna curve back in somewhere right over here. So we're gonna make a, a U around this thing. We'll go two, two blocks, two of the big blocks tall. So it'll be about eight inches tall. I think those are four, maybe those are three inch bricks and maybe it was six inches tall or eight inches tall. And then we'll fill it with pebble stone. Uh, underneath of it, we're gonna put this uh, cement board so the floor will be covered. And in order to protect the vinyl plank flooring here, in case we ever wanna remove this wood stove completely, I'm not gonna glue anything to the floor so we can actually remove this whole thing down the road if we wanted to. So we'll show you progress as we go. Let's get started. Okay, so after uh, checking several different configurations, I think we have uh, decided on what we wanna do. We're gonna keep it uh, tight to the stove. We found a way to get it centered by just using some spacers and things like that to, to make it work. The stove itself is actually sitting on a, a quarter inch piece of uh, cement board. Instead of trying to put the cement board pieces that I had in there and cut this perfectly, I, I had to try a bunch of different configurations. I'm just gonna cut pieces of cement board to just place in this that the rocks will sit on so that way they don't scratch the floor and also if there were ever like a hot coal or something get through the rocks to the bottom that it wouldn't uh, have anything to burn so we'll have cement board uh, around the bottom there so the the cool thing about these these stones is that you have all these different sizes so i'm actually gonna replace this with these two that are in here and so you've got this kind of smaller brick you have these ones i think they're seven inches i think this is a uh, uh, seven by seven and so you can use uh, do all kinds of different configurations so for instance over here you've got uh, kind of all these different ways that you can tie these all together and this the other side actually doesn't match because uh, there's actually a little bit of a gap here so it goes a, a the depth of, of one of these bricks deeper on this side so the configuration is a little different now that I have all this laid in place the way I want it I'll carefully take this all off and stack it next to it. The bottom layer is actually not gonna get glued to the floor. I'm just gonna glue these bricks to each other. So I'll put a little um, line of caulk between the two of them and I'll glue them together just to kind of hold them together. And then the top layer uh, will all get glued uh, on top of each other. So it'll all hold, hold itself in place uh, and it won't, won't go anywhere. Th th these things are pretty heavy. It probably wouldn't go anywhere anyway, but just to make sure somebody's walking on this doesn't pop out and, and move. So we'll be using this uh, Loctite landscape construction adhesive. It's designed for these kind of cement blocks. Uh, it holds pretty well. You don't have to use too much of it. And so uh, hopefully we'll just be able to secure these together. So let's get some cement board cut and put in place there and we'll move some of these out of the way and start gluing stuff together.
All right, well, I have all of uh, our stones glued or uh, adhesived into place, and I just threw a, a few of the extras back there. One of the advantages of doing the uh, wood stove surround like this is that this is all thermal mass. So the more stone and rock that you put around here, it's all gonna warm up and this will radiate heat. We're gonna now get our rock in here. We're just gonna pour that rock in there. We're not gonna fill it all the way to the top. Uh, we'll leave about two inches uh, around the top uh, so it'll sit in there so rocks don't end up getting knocked out of there. And when it's all done, this is what you end up with. It ended up working out uh, pretty good for, uh, we had to move over right to the edge of that trim there, but that's all right, the door still opens <laughs> to the closet. I actually put like eight bags uh, or seven bags of this uh, river rock in here. And these stones are, are pretty good size. So that's you know, that one of the larger ones, but I like the, the bigger stones in here. And it does take a couple hours for that, uh, that construction adhesive to, fully set up. I was walking on some of these and they started moving around a little bit, but I really like this, this hearth. I really like the idea of doing this around the wood stove. I did this at our farmhouse with the wood stove, the Bun Baker XL that we installed. It was a, as an oven and a wood stove together. This is a real small wood stove in a small space. This is going to be a great heat sink and it just looks really nice. It looks nice and solid uh, and everything uh, turned out really good. A lot of people asked uh, in the past, uh, what about ash that falls down into these rocks? Isn't it really hard to clean? It really isn't. Uh, what I do is I have a, a vacuum cleaner that, you know, I usually keep uh, nearby, just a small one. And uh, if it gets a little bit of ash, usually it's just kind of right here on the top and you just take a vacuum cleaner and just suck that up and it just sucks it right out of there. Now over five or 10 years, yeah, are you gonna get some ash and stuff that's gonna eventually settle under the bottom? Sure, but you can just take this rock out, vacuum it out and put the rock back, it's not that hard. This is a, a very inexpensive wood stove. I think this is a Home Depot uh, model and uh, I have actually never started a fire in it yet because uh, I'm glad I didn't. When I took that chimney pipe apart, uh, it was very dirty in there, so I'm gonna get on the roof one day when it's not raining, and I'll clean this chimney out before I before I use this wood stove at all. But it's ready to go. Other than that, a nice new hearth. Got rid of that old metal thing, and all I'm short is just one more brick to fit that in spot. I'm gonna get one more just like that and stick it in there, and so it gives it kind of a little back uh, back spot there. Shorter video today, but uh, one of my my favorite ways to uh, set up a wood stove with these, uh, with the river rock and with these can, these uh, landscape stones. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you guys got some ideas for your, for your own house. If you have questions, please throw that stuff down below. I will answer those questions as best as possible. And uh, don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. Of course, subscribe if it's your first time here. We do lots of wood burning things here and we've got a lot more to do on this cabin renovation before we're ready to go as an Airbnb. So follow along for all of those videos to come. Hope you enjoyed today. We'll see you next time.